Here at Sync, we decided to go on a journey to build a digital store. Getting there wasn't easy, and it certainly was anything but obvious. Now, a digital store isn't just throwing flat panel displays everywhere. It's digitizing the operations. At Sync, we hit an inflection point, a vision and an undeniable inevitability. Doesn't matter how many cool applications we develop, it's all about being on a single unified platform, lowering the labor costs of training and increasing the adoption of each additional module. That realization came from experiences running stores, building and renovating bricks and mortar, and over 100 million electronic interactions Sync has delivered to customers. It came down to knowing that we live in a world of disparate retail solutions. Too many programs that should have died, but didn't. Without the right platform, it was another disparate solution, no matter how good it was. That platform, Microsoft Teams. That platform is our story, and it's something that we now know is inevitable. We used to work with various partners, their various apps and various notifications and alerts. We've built truly remarkable solutions with a plurality of different partners, but we realized we were just adding to the problem. So it's four more applications on the device and more things to manage, more things to train. So we had to move over to something agnostic whereby every solution was holistically in one. So we took all those solutions as well as some new ones and modernized the tech stack to become the sum of all parts, all to be ingested by Microsoft Teams. Now this isn't the Microsoft Teams that you might be used to. Specifically, it is the use of adaptive cards in Microsoft Teams. Most of you likely have never heard of one. It is to us the secret sauce in the inevitable future of not only retail, but all frontline work. It's specific and by design consistent. So let's understand what adaptive cards are and why we've built an entire stack around them. But first, think of a traditional store and then a digital one. The evolution of stores was communicating by telephone and by page. It began an evolution to move those phone calls off traditional headsets and attempt to reduce paging by using ruggedized mobile devices. The process didn't change, just the hardware. Then there's this idea of present, which is messaging, but messaging has one big massive problem. No accountability, no line of sight, the constant need for follow-up, and we're back to square one again. There's no data. Sure, I can be digital and request something via a message within my store, but how do I know the task is being done? By who? The status of that task. We are blowing high productivity labor, manually managing a digital process. The key difference here are those adaptive cards. Consider adaptive cards like an Uber fare. The request goes out over a specific skills-based team's channel, and the first person within that team to claim the request locks in the assignment. Should that team member not respond within the specified service level expectation, it is escalated within teams to the next most relevant team that has a heightened sensitivity. Because when you attach an adaptive card to operations, you create a digital ledger of everything that was done, not done, and what opportunities were missed. Compare that process to today. Store paging, notifications that hit all devices, call buttons. Devices in this method are static, not dynamic. And we create a culture of associates who are numb to these audibles in their surroundings. If you're in the bakery, you don't need to be told there is customer service needed in a personal care aisle or that an e-commerce order has been received. How many times did associates help customers today? How many times did we clear the parking lot of carts? How many customers needed help at locking showcases? high cube locations, and out of stock home locations. How many times did the security alarms at EAS activate? And what did we do about it? Was there a fire alarm door delay triggered? And what was the action? This is a Microsoft Teams store, a truly digital store. And here are 19 ways that we use Microsoft Teams in stores today. Curbside, a single click for the customer in the confirmation for pickup email initiates an adaptive card for the associate. Text for help, a scan of a QR code or the entry of the phone's text for help number connects customer text with MS Teams interactive cards. Call buttons. A scan of a QR code initiates an adaptive card to the exact location that customer is standing in store. Order up. QR codes and tablets driving warehouse picking requests for high cube and high value items. You guessed it, through interactive cards. Now, order up and then my next two, stock up and stock out, are very unique. And we're gonna get through a demo right now of that. And let's also mention that this is a patented method both in Canada and the United States. What is BizPun? Buy in store, pick up now. Let's check this out. I'm to the store and I just want to buy one of these locking showcase items. It's a lock, it's a, a torch. I'm going to go through and I'm just going to scan the QR code. And this is then going to show me all the torches that are available for sale and the on hands and quantities. Simple for me, I just need to add to cart. So this is kind of like online shopping, but in a store. Now I'm not gonna pay for this item. This is a technology to let the warehouse staff know that they need to get this product for me and I'm gonna go pay through regular cash out lane. They've hosted the barcode for me, so now I can check out through a regular lane or through self-checkout. 
let's go. Store staff has received that product request for my blowtorch, and as soon as they start working on it, I'll be updated in real time. And for this case, we're gonna put it in a locker. As you can see, I'm here now at self-checkout. I've got an item that I wanted to buy that wasn't expensive and wasn't in a locking showcase, and I've got my product. So I'm gonna check both these out. So I paid for my items, I got my receipt, and now it shows that my order is paid and ready to be picked up in a locker. The yeah, I now show is paid. There's the locker on the way out the store. I simply hit I'm here, and it'll illuminate blue for me. And I say open and confirm my locker. No scanning, no paper, no nothing. I grab my torch, and I'm on my way. So that was order up. And now we add a couple more applications on that. Stock out and stock up. Now stock out is the ability for the customer to scan the shelf label, asking if there's any more of this product despite the home being empty, it's out of stock. Is there a rain check or is it the product in the back room or a different store? Maybe we're even willing to ship that product to home free of charge. And stock up. Customers asking for products manually, I don't have a phone, I don't want to use your software, or managers that see empty shelves that can't wait for reactive picking software. No radios, it's an associate generated order up. Customer save. These are devices of the POS. When we hear negative feedback the next day via an MPS survey, it's too late. Why don't we get this feedback in the store? And if they're in the store, let's focus on what made the customer upset. From out of socks, did you find what we're looking for? To associate help, were our associates friendly? Anything negative generates an adaptive card or supervisor to check stand date. EAS, EAS alarm notifications with CCTV sent over an adaptive card. And of course, this goes to the security channel of Teams, fighting the spam of today's methods. Recurring store tasks, program any recurring task for each and every Teams channel, all while affiliating that Teams escalation with their team, all with adaptive cards. Tasks on the fly. See something that you're dying to make a page for, take a picture and send it over to the team responsible for immediate action. Say no to radios, say no to paging. Emergency exits, similar to EAS alarms, alerts with corresponding CCTV for your door delays and exit doors. Concealment alerts, take your AI machine learning predictive shoplifting tech, put it into Teams. And the other part of Teams that's critical here is lockers. Now you know our reputation for lockers and being interactive, and exciting versus prisons for stuff, or as we call them, post office boxes with ATM machines inside. There are seven applications that can be driven through lockers using Microsoft Teams and adaptive carts. The first one is BOPIS, that's table sticks. Buy online, pick up in store. No paper, no pin code for the customer, just their smartphone, which is probably the way they initiated the order in the first place. And for the associate, it's a single tap of Microsoft Teams that opens the locker hands-free increasing efficiency by up to 175%. Use lockers for returns. Why are we standing in line again? Customers can initiate their return in line, and if the return is eligible, place the item at the desk or in a locker. For the associate, that returns is an adaptive card, and it's as simple as decline or accept the return. Everything else can be automated. Exchanges. Please proceed to the store and use the lockers. Your item is available for exchange. Same process as BOPES. Service. Scan the QR code and place your item in the locker for servicing. From hockey skate sharpening and key cutting to electronics repairs. Proactive picking. Real proactive picking. If we're paying staff to fill a locker, use the data to proactively pick items the data shows will sell within the day. Put calories back into the sale by helping three to five times your customers with the same number of employee footsteps. Vending. Want to drive your customers to pick up items that most align with your strategic and economic routes? Vending allows customers to skip the wait altogether and select items your store has already curated. Hello, house brands. And last but not least, and dearest to us, BizPun. Buy in store, pick up now. That's that patent that we talked about earlier. Stop waiting for locking showcase help. And had this technology beat Michael Dubin, founder of Dollar Shave Club to the punch, there might not be a Dollar Shave Club as he wouldn't have had to wait 45 minutes for help back in 2011. These stores have no call buttons, they don't use their paging systems, and they don't use their clunky phones. They are not wearing radios. It's easy to see the operational efficiency to the associate. In fact, we're increasing efficiency of truck decant by over 300% for locking showcase and high cube items with this method, reducing labor on the sales floor for those items by two thirds, reducing a full headcount for pickup with lockers, all while picking up the 10 to 15% of sales lost due to locking showcases. But this is much, much more. This is turning the customer into your store's best associate, increasing what we call customer productivity. 
We all know that increased customer time in store increases the basket. It is time to start critically reviewing the quality of customer time in store versus the quantity. If a customer is spending 25% of their time looking for help in stores, that's 25% of the time they're not buying. And that's where we are today, 19 uses of Microsoft Teams. And I'm sure now that you know us, it'll shortly be 30. And when those store operators decide to deploy more uses, there's no additional training. It's simply just another adaptive card, another analog task that is now digital, and an associate simply hits claim. We have built single sign-on and integrated with one of the largest frontline worker payroll systems. Signing into Teams signs you into payroll. And with Microsoft Azure Active Directory, everything else in the environment. Want to have compliance with sign-ins? Simple, attach it to your payroll system. Now with that ligature of payroll and Microsoft Teams using these 19 adaptive card uses, start looking at labor productivity and see just how many calories are in these sales tasks for the first time ever. And when you start to consider that an auto opening closing locker isn't a locker at all, but the world's first physical UX, you get to see where this is headed. Because arguably the coolest part of it all, what was built for frontline retail workers is now being evaluated and piloted in other industries, such as oil and gas, hospitality, and healthcare. Imagine the custody of tasks, medications, tests, and results all within this ecosystem, the integrations with adaptive cards and touchless lockers. This is why we're a Microsoft shop. This is why everything we build is in Microsoft Teams. And that is our story.